afternoon everybody this is Deanna with Food Bank Beautiful and I have been busy in the kitchen I just uh, finished doing a roast chicken and now we're gonna move on to some make in a jar brownie mixes for you to keep on your shelves and then when it's time to make brownies maybe you have company coming maybe you want something for the kids after school you have an easy mix and it is so much cheaper than what you're going to buy in the store okay so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the recipe the recipe came from a website called sugar spun run so if you go to sugarspunrun.com, you will find a brownie mix recipe for your pantry shelves. Now this one is very, very easy and we're just gonna fly through this. My workspace is a tiny bit messy. That's not gonna surprise any of you, right? You know me. All right, so the first thing that I have done is I added a quarter teaspoon of salt to these two jars. Now I'm gonna make five jars, but I'm gonna make two on camera with you guys. So let me read you the ingredients. Per pint size jar, you will use one and a fourth cups of sugar, two thirds cup of flour, one half cup of cocoa, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. So it is just four ingredients, okay? Now, when you go to make your mix, you will use a half a cup of melted butter, two eggs, and one teaspoon of vanilla. Bake it 350 for about 25 minutes, okay? So I am going to get you started. So the salt is already here, and I am working with only a half cup measurement, people. <laughs> If you were here yesterday, you know that I cleaned my house, but I just made a great big uh, chicken dinner, chicken, stuffed squash, roasted carrots and potatoes. I'll be making some gravy later. Uh, over there is a fright. And so we're just gonna deal with this little bit of mess. So the salt is already in here. What we're going to do next, and I'm gonna bring you down here so you can just watch me. There we go, whoops. Let's see if we can't get that to stay a little bit better. No, it doesn't love it. Let's see if that helps. Okay, that helps. So we're going to see if we can get this a little bit better. We already have the salt, fourth of a teaspoon in each jar. Now I'm going to add one and a quarter cup of sugar to each jar. So we're going to do two and a half of these. So there's one and a quarter, give or take, and one and a quarter. Can you guys see? Yeah, you can see. All right. Now today, I believe all of the ingredients are mine. There, are, there was a lot of time between November, December, January, and most of February that flour and sugar was from the food bank. But I have gone through all of that, and it is unlikely that I will get those items on a regular basis. So almost all of my baking from here on out will be with mostly my own ingredients but that's not going to stop us we're still going to bake people now to that i am going to add a half a cup of cocoa powder to each jar okay let's see if we can do that without making a mess there's one And here is going to be the next one. It's going to be a tight fit, but it'll be okay. And let me get 
oh, I've got a towel right here. I want to be able to tamp that down a little bit because I got to add now two thirds cup of flour. Hmm. Two thirds cup of flour. Okay. I'll put that lid on. Okay, two thirds cup of flour. Now I only have a one half measuring cup, so let me spoon my flour into that. I'm gonna roughly do two thirds. And I can only eyeball this, you guys. So there's our first third. my other two-thirds fits in there or my other one-third okay now we're about a third we'll see if we can't get it in there oh I hear one of my roosters sounds like he got out of the coop and is in the front yard he's been doing that for a couple days big black rooster named Agnes Yeah, I'm going to have to leave you guys and go take care of that. All right, I'll be back. Now, if you do put it in a quart jar, you can add a half a cup of chocolate chips and it'll fit. All right, let's see if I can get that in. And you can just see how tight that is, right? It is very, very tight. Hi chickens. All right, let's see if we can get that tamp down. Now it is very tight. You can see that, right? It's okay, it does all fit. It just takes a little bit of maneuvering to get that where you want it. Okay, so I have done two jars for you here. One and two. And then I have three jars over here. So I will have five brownie mixes for my pantry shelves. That one looks pretty, right? <laughs> All right, now I will probably hold off on posting this until I bake a batch and then we'll see what we think, okay? And I may or may not do that tonight, it just depends. I got still a lot of things on my plate, so we will see. Okay, brownie mix at sugar spun run. One and a quarter sugar, two thirds cup of flour, one half cup cocoa powder, quarter teaspoon of salt, and then you can add a half a cup of chocolate chips to your mix if you have a big enough jar, or you can add it at the time you bake, or you can completely skip it, add nuts, do whatever you wanna do. Go wild, all right, go wild. Uh, then again, when it's time to make it, you will do eight tablespoons of melted butter, two eggs, a teaspoon of vanilla, vanilla, which I'm pretty sure vanilla is not a word. Um, and you'll bake at 350 for 25 to 30 minutes in an eight by eight or nine by nine pan. All right, that's it. I will see you guys later. Ta-ta.